Okay, so now I've got my Moodle provision or my Moodle course um, defined. There's the short name for my course, um, DIW3120. Um, oh, you might want to change that so it's a little bit more um, descriptive for your learners, um, but that's okay for now for me. I know what the uh, number is and the students just need to know that it's a third year module and it's number 120. So I'm in student view, this is what the student sees if they've accessed this course and there's no content there, um, the weeks or the topics are blank. So let's turn off student view and you'll notice I can now turn editing on oh, and now these options become available so the editing button really is key to enabling us to see the options and this allows me to upload and edit um, content. So there's the button at the top here and also on the administration or the course settings I can turn editing on and off here as well. Um, if I just go down the first thing to look at is the folder called files so I'm going to select files and at the moment we haven't uploaded anything to this particular course so we, we don't see any folders or any files or anything at all. Now before we start uploading um, folders and files it's probably a good idea to make a new folder so I'm just going to click on make a folder and I'm going to make this one called assignments and just click on create. Okay there we go. So there's the folder and I could click on this folder which would take me inside the folder where I could make additional folders or start uploading files. Um, okay so I can now go over here and upload a file which would go directly inside um, of that folder. So let's click on upload file. Um, there's a 32, I don't think I'd be uploading a 32 megabyte file but I'm going to browse to a file on my computer so let's just find units okay let's just open the file so I've located a file and I'm going to upload this file right so there we have the icon for a word document um, I could rename the file if I wanted to um, but I'm going to keep that as um, the default name um, I'm now going to go to the course menu again so if you, if you notice here at the top on the breadcrumbs here we've gone from Moodle inside to uh, this unit files and then assignments so I'm going to go back to the course let's just click on that I'm going to scroll down slightly and inside topic one I'm going to look at the resource here so add a resource click on the drop down um, I'm going to link to a file or a website let's just click on there it's assignments let's just call that assignment um, and then put some descriptive te text in here let's just say assignment for final unit then the location of the file so choose or upload so it takes me straight to this folder we know that if we click on there inside the folder is the file I've just uploaded select the file and then go to choose and then I have a look at the location that tells me the assignments folder and this doc has been linked let's just scroll down here now I'm just going to ignore these settings at the moment I'm just going to have this open in the same window and save changes okay what it's doing here is it's attempting to automatically download the file so I'm just going to say cancel go back to the course and there we can see the word document and the assignment so now what happens let's turn student view on so the student would see number one for 
the topic here and a Word document called Assignment. So if the student clicks the file, um, it's just a Word document and what the browser is doing here is automatically attempting to download the file. Um, depending on the setting of the browser it might try and read the file inside of the browser itself um, or it might ask you to right click and save target as OK. So I'm just going to say cancel, I don't want to download the file, I already have that. Go back to the unit there. So that's just quickly looking at going into the course, turn off student, student view, turn editing back on and I went into files and created a folder. The reason I'm doing that is I would start creating folders in a structure so it's a little bit of logic to it and we can start uploading files and have some semblance of order inside um, Moodle as we start to propagate it with files and resources and just go back to the main file and then I uploaded the Word document inside there um, which was added as a resource and a link to a file or a website. Okay, I'm going to stop there and continue in the next assignment where we'll look at editing the topics um, or the weeks and customizing the menu slightly.